I scored an 8.6 in my BMAT section 2. Here is exactly how I did this. I'm Faraz, I'm a Cambridge University student. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about doing well in BMAT section 2. In terms of doing well in BMAT section 2, I would split your revision into three main phases. Phase 1 is learning the content you need to know for section 2. So in terms of what content they can ask you, you can find all of the possible content that they can ask in the BMAT section 2 Assume Knowledge Guide online. You'll see a button that says access the guide. You click this, make an account, and then you have access to the guide. So the guide essentially takes you through each subsection of BMAT section 2 and is essentially a textbook of everything they can possibly ask you. Honestly, it's a miracle they've given you this resource. I would make use of it. The way I personally made use of it was I made sure I'd read the entire guide at least once so that at least I'd seen everything. And any bits I was unsure of or I hadn't been taught in my own GCSE syllabus, I would then go back over and properly memorize. This guide is absolutely your best friend. Definitely dedicate at least a couple days, if not weeks, to learning the content from this guide. One caveat I would add in, however, is that this guide goes into probably a lot more detail than you need for the BMAT. So have a look at BMAT questions and just kind of judge the amount of depth you actually need to go into. Because obviously the BMAT's a multiple choice, you're not writing down your own answers, you don't need to know absolutely everything. For a lot of it, you can just know the gist and get away with it and still get a really high score. Now, phase two of your BMAP preparation for section two should be learning the exam technique you need to use. So BMAP section two consists of seven chemistry, physics and biology questions, as well as six maths questions. Of these, the maths questions are by far the hardest. What you need to do is you need to learn the specific exam techniques that you need to use for each question type. I'll give you a quick example. So one thing that's really important for both BMAT chemistry and BMAT maths is always working in fractions because often in the BMAT the numbers are going to be really nice. You'll have something like 100 over 250 and you need to instantly recognize that that's going to two fifths. And you can really bog yourself down by trying to do things like long division and just get yourself really confused if you're not working in fractions. A lot of the BMAT is just knowing these small exam techniques and that's why me and my friend Hamza have created the Sigma Med online BMAT video course. This course consists of more than 60 videos and will have more than 90 worked examples when we add the section 1 and section 2 walkthroughs from 2022. This course teaches you the content you need to know for the BMAT, the exam techniques you need to use, and overall it incorporates all of the knowledge that me and Hamza use to get in the top 10% of our BMAT cohort and get into Cambridge University into one concise course that costs just £30. Honestly, if you're sitting in the BMAT this year, this course is an absolute steal and is, in my opinion, the only paid resource you need. So if you're serious about doing well on the BMAT, check out sigmamed.co.uk. The link's in the description below. Now, phase three of doing well at BMAT section two is bringing it all together. You've now learned the content, you know what exam techniques you need to use, now you have to practice. And the way I recommend this is first of all doing as many BMAT Section 2 past papers as possible. These are all freely available online and on my YouTube I'm going to be putting up full Section 2 walkthroughs between 2016 and 2021. So be sure to subscribe. And the other thing you want to use as well is if you run out of BMAT resources, use the Cambridge NSAA past papers that you can see up on screen right now. These have very similar questions to the BMAT and I personally use a lot of these just to get a bit of extra practice. I think that maths is a bit harder but that's not an issue. You want to be good at maths, it definitely helps with the BMAT. Now in terms of how you mark these past papers, I would recommend not just focusing on the answer but also dissecting your thinking process. As a BMAT tutor, I personally find that students a lot of the times, they have the right ideas, but maybe they have a bit of trouble just stringing them together. So what I recommend doing is, when you get a question wrong, dissect your thought process. Look at where you went wrong and think, hmm, how can I change my thinking next time? So for example, if you are doing an algebra question and you find your work can get way too complicated, you should train yourself to first of all simplify before doing anything else. So I think this is the real way you should use BMAT Section 2 practice. Don't focus on your marks, focus more on your thinking process and correcting that. Because a lot of the BMAT Section 2 is just having the right thinking processes and going in the right direction. 
and from there just multiple choice and you select the correct option from the gist of the answer you get. There you have it, that is my guide to doing well in BMAT section 2. Those are the techniques and tips that I use to score in the top less than 0.5% of the entire nation. I hope you guys find this video helpful and if you're applying to Oxbridge or applying to medicine this year, subscribe to my channel because I've got tons more stuff coming out for you guys. Thank you for watching.